Manx Murders, adapted from his book by Keith Wilkinson, read by Mark Clift. The Golden Egg Murder. On Thursday, the 2nd of August, 1973, 50 people died in a fire at the Summerland Indoor Leisure Centre on Douglas Promenade. Officers from the Lancashire Police Force assisted local police in the subsequent investigation. Two weeks later, the people of the Isle of Man were stunned to hear news of the first murder on the island for 43 years. Nigel Neal, aged 26, who was married and a father of two from Lancashire, had taken up the position of manager in the Golden Egg restaurant in Strand Street, Douglas, in May 1973. His bound and gagged body was found in the kitchen area of the restaurant on the morning of Wednesday the 15th of August. Police discovered that more than £1,000 was missing and local CID officers were again assisted by Lancashire Police. James Richard Lunny was 21 and single. He came to the Isle of Man in June 1973 and had several convictions for burglary and theft. He had started work as a grill chef at the Golden Egg one week before the murder and from statements taken from staff there he quickly became the main suspect in the inquiry. Police released his description on the island the following day and it was soon established that he had checked into the nearby Athol Hotel at 10pm on the 14th of August leaving at 1am the following morning. He had then booked a room at the Palace Hotel on Douglas Promenade about half a mile away. A taxi driver, George Pyatt, told police that he had taken Lunny from the hotel to Ronald's Way Airport at 6am that morning. Lunny told him he had made a killing in the casino and had to get off the island quickly. He said there was nothing unusual in the man's behaviour. When he reached the airport, Lunny chartered a flight to Blackpool, landing there shortly after 8am. Police soon discovered that Lunny had left Blackpool Airport in a taxi and bought a second-hand car for cash at a garage near Chorley. Lunny's description was then circulated to all UK police forces and he was arrested at 6.05am on Friday the 17th of August when he got into his car in the car park of an Edinburgh hotel. He was found to have in his possession £331 and a bunch of keys belonging to the door of the Golden Egg restaurant. He was charged the following day with the murder of Nigel Neal and later with robbery with violence. At the inquest, Dr Joseph Ferguson, police surgeon to Douglas District, gave evidence. He described being called to the restaurant at 8.45am on the morning the body was discovered. Neil's body was fully dressed, lying face upwards on the floor at the rear of the premises. His legs were tied together at the ankles by a piece of rope, and his hands were tied together across the front of his body with a necktie, which was also secured to the metal leg of a sink unit. His mouth was gagged with a cloth, and face and head were covered in blood. The cause of death was cerebral haemorrhage resulting from a skull fracture. Lunny's trial opened in front of a packed courtroom in Douglas on the 6th of December 1973. Evidence was heard from witnesses who described Lunny visiting the restaurant and talking to Neil several times during the evening in question. After other staff left, Neil and Lunny were alone in the restaurant. Lunny told the jury that he had a drink with Neil and then the pair went to the back of the restaurant where the topic of conversation soon turned to the subject of women. Lunny claimed that Neil wanted an introduction to a friend of his called Annette. When Lunny reminded Neil that he was a married man, an argument ensued. The defendant claimed that Neil had taken a wild swing at him and had tried to hit him with a pan before he retaliated and hit Neil several times on the head with a fire extinguisher knocking him to the ground. He then tied his hands and legs and gagged him before stealing money from the till and leaving the restaurant. He said he looked bloody, but he didn't look like he was going to die. Dr Stephen Garrett, a pathologist attached to the Home Office, 
told the court that death had been caused by several hard blows with a heavy blunt instrument and estimated the time of death to be approximately 1am on the 15th of August. Kevin Carey was another chef in the restaurant and he described finding a blood-stained fire extinguisher under the chip fryers on the 17th of August. Fingerprints in blood were found to be identical to Lunny's right thumb and forefinger. At the end of the six-day trial, Lunny was found guilty on both counts. The deemster told him, The sentence of this court is that you shall be hanged by the neck until you are dead. Asked if he had anything to say, Lunny replied, No, sir, and showed no emotion. The sentence was later commuted to one of life imprisonment. Mm -hmm.